Hi everyone, my name is Justin Pate and welcome to the first round of the Never Stop Learning Online Rap Contest. And for a full description of what this contest is about, definitely read the description below. But basically, the Never Stop Learning Contest is Reiner or myself, trainers for the Rap Institute, will wrap an object live real time and give commentary. So it's like a mini workshop and you have a chance to win super cool prizes. So if you uh, saw the Rap Institute post from the day before the video, you can guess how long it took us to wrap that object. And if you guess the right time, you have a chance to win super cool prizes from the sponsor of that round. The sponsor of round one is PID Pro Series. PID Pro Series makes a lot of great tools. So if you guess the right time, you can win about $250 worth of free tools that they're gonna ship right to your wrap shop or your house. Super cool. So in short, the Never Stop Learning Contest is all about learning, having fun, and the chance to win great prizes. Cool. So let's get to it. So in round one, I'm going to wrap a hood from start to finish. So you can see the good workflow tips, good cutting tips. And if you can wrap a hood, that's a good stepping stone to start wrapping more technical stuff, which is really awesome. But if you also just want to wrap a hood by itself, you can actually make really good money that way. Cool. So let's get to it. So I'm going to get my magnets ready over here, get my tools and my belt, and I'm going to get the clock going at the top when I'm ready to go. Got the heat gun here. And so with wrapping, it's all about prep. So I'll talk a bit, a bit about prep right before I hit the clock. I put some masking tape on the upper corners because here the gap is really tight. So by you putting masking tape there, I can hook the material in, in here without getting caught up by the back fender. So it gives me nice, good tension-free coverage right there. At the front of the hood, I put a core tube. And the reason why I put a core tube here is it's just a nice wide gap so I can get the material under here and not have to fight the bumper. So for me, in prep is all about kind of neutralizing tricky spots, but it's also about cleaning. Uh, I cleaned this with a general cleaner, then I clay barred it, then I degreased it. So very important. So it's like a three-step process, but that creates a really good substrate to wrap on so it holds really good for the long term. So that's my prep. Good to go. Got my tools ready. Got my heat gun close by. Got my magnets, application glove. Got a special buffer in this case. This is a buffer I can make wet with soap and water, which means it won't scratch the material. This one actually has a magnet strap on it, so I can put it there and I don't have to you know, put it in my pocket all the time. So I can always just have it on the car, grab and go. That being said, uh, I think everything is ready to wrap. Got my trash bag close and I'm gonna start the clock and if you wanna win that prize, let's see how close you got. So starting the clock, come on over here, grab the material, set my magnet here. In this case, I'm going to drop the material right up to there. And here, I'm going to hold my magnet right on the edge here. I want to make sure you have enough material left to right, top to bottom. So it's always really important. So here, I have enough at the top. I shift it over a little bit. Come on over here. Ah, got enough material right there. Super cool. I'll put the masking tape inside here. Now, what's always really important to do when you wrap anything is to cut away the excess fill with the backing paper on. And the reason why you want to do this is scraps are money. So in round two of the Never Stop Learning contest, you're going to see Reiner wrap this mirror or a mirror. It depends on which car we have. So the idea is that if you save those scraps, you can use them to repurpose them on different parts of the car. You don't have to use excess material from the roll again. So that saves money. Super smart. But what this cutting away of the excess material does for me right now is it makes the panel easier to install. So with the panel trimmed and ready to go, I'm going to release the liner, tack it here, and I'm going to release the entire backing paper in one shot. So I pull the backing paper away, nice and slow. Always a good idea to set the material to the side. All right, and now I'm going to do a, a technique that I call making a bed. So it's no different than how you make your bed at home. When you make your bed at home and you're putting on the sheet on the bottom of the mattress, what you generally do is you hook the corners. And if you hook the corners, what happens is when you hit the last corner, everything goes flat on the bed. The sheet goes flat, nice and tight. Well, wrapping cars is exactly the same way. If I pull the material to the corners now, what happens is all the material goes wrinkle free. It's a really cool concept. So if you're really good at making a bed, you might be a really good wrapper. Cool. So I'm going to pull the material up to here, hook this corner. Awesome. And I'm going for a concept I call making glass. And making glass is when the material has no wrinkles. And in this case, because it has a gloss finish, it's shiny. So it looks like glass. So if you have glass, it goes to a phrase that I've been saying for years is 
glass, glass means go, wrinkles means no. Now wrinkles tell you that the material has tension. And if something has tension, well, it's just like a person, it's not good. So if you're tense, mm, that's not a good thing because it means that there's gonna be issues later on. So in this case now, if I see that something has tension, that tells me to fix it. How do I fix it? Is by stretching the material a little bit, hold it nice and high, stretching it down, and you always want to create glass before you squeegee. So I'm almost at the point where I got it nice and clean. I run my finger on the edge and stage one is now done. Super cool. So I've created 100% glass. Now I'm ready to squeegee. But what's interesting is now your approach. Watch what happens now is my watch comes off. And the reason my watch comes off is I don't want to scratch the wrap. I'm now going to put on an application glove and I'm actually going to apply the recessed areas first. So watch. I'm gonna do a technique that I call the palm technique. And I invented this in 2016. And what it does is it means I apply the recessed areas first. And the reason why I apply the recessed areas first is it avoids any kind of what's called adhesive lines. So I get the material in there nice and tight. And then I have another recessed area right here. So I make sure the air can escape. I take the material into this area here and I'm squeegeeing with my hand. Now I'm gonna pull up my squeegee now. And I do the flat sections next. So I squeegee really low and flat onto this section right to here. Make sure the air can escape. Take the palm again, take it inside here. Make sure that air can escape. And by doing this now, working in a little section, the material goes in with really good quality, no adhesive lines. And when you're done with a section, it's always a good idea to double check with your hand to make sure it goes down. Awesome. So now this whole section right here, the recessed areas are applied which means I can now squeegee the flat area towards the front. And I'm using overlapping squeegee strokes to take it down. And now this section along this body line is now complete. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over and do the other side the same way. And the reason why I'm gonna do the other side the same way is the other side is exactly the same. So I'm gonna come over here. I got that section up there, the recessed area. And I take my application glove and this one is really nice and this again is from our sponsor in this video PID Pro Series and this glove doesn't need soap and water it has special fabric that slides and glides so that saves me a step from having to load it with soap and water which is what you had to do with old application glove now I got the section up here take the material right into the recessed area squeegee this out continue with the recessed area pushing it Sure the air can escape, work in stages, palm, work in stages. And I'm actually squeegeeing quite hard. But what you haven't heard yet is the heat gun. And the reason why you haven't heard the heat gun is because I use that making the bed logic. And that making the bed logic incorporated a technique that I call triangles. By spreading the material out and going for the corners and making the material flat, you don't need heat. So in a way, triangles make whatever you're wrapping flat, which is cool. So once I have that set now, going to take the material up to here. And now what I have left is this middle section right now. Now with this middle section, what I want to do now is avoid scratching, especially on a wide section like this, because I'm going to be squeegeeing a lot. If I use my glove, I don't scratch. But here on a big long section, I want to make sure that I spray a little bit of soap and water on the surface. And what that allows me to do now is, because I have a special buffer that can get wet, I can squeegee back and forth. And now it's super easy. And the reason why I'm not getting bubbles is most of the material that you work with today has technology what's called air, air regress and repositionable technology. And if I have that kind of technology now, I don't have to hold the material off the surface. It's nice and easy to wrap. Cool. Now, what you have to think about and something we really push on the Wrap Institute. Now, the Wrap Institute has over almost 2,000 videos on how to wrap anything. We have monthly memberships, we have annual memberships, and you have unlimited access to the entire library. And we teach you how to wrap pretty much anything, which is cool. But the idea is, I pretty much wrap everything the same, because I approach everything with a system. Now also, within that system, I always do the hardest parts first. Now the hardest parts on this hood were the sides, the recessed areas, and the easiest part was the middle of the hood. And if you leave the easiest part to last, it stays easy. But if you leave the hardest part to last, it actually gets harder, so a good tip for that. And as I'm talking now, everything's down nice and tight, Double check my area for bubbles, very important to do. And cool, looking good, awesome. 
So now that everything's applied, now again, you want to think in stages. That's really important if you're a wrapper, is I feel like made the bed, created the glass, squeezed everything on, and now it's time to cut. So for cutting right now, what you want to think about is really getting the material around the edge. Now cutting is where it gets hard, in the sense that if you're a new at wrapping, your chance of making a bad cut right now is really high. So a good installer, you know, will learn the art of cutting and master it. Very important to do, all right? And a good installer also learns to read tension, kind of what I talked about earlier with wrinkles and stuff. So right now, before I cut, I want to neutralize any tension. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around with the heat gun, and what the heat does is it shrinks the material. It relaxes it, just like a hot shower, a cup of tea, hot tub, hot toddy. Cool, if you're from England. So the idea right now is because I've relaxed the material, all right, that means that when I go to cut, it won't shrink, which is great. So that's the name of the ball game. So it's all about, if you're a good wrapper, it's all about relaxing, all right? So now I'm ready to cut. I got my sharp blade. And I think it's always really important to cut the corners first. Because if you cut the corners first, you have really good chance of getting good quality because corners are the hardest. You see a lot of people online, when they post pictures of the wraps, they say, I got a strong corner game. And that's because they're really proud of the corners because again, corners are very hard to wrap. So here, notice I changed body position so I can work the material down this side. And notice the blade that I'm using is a 30 degree blade. And this one's particularly unique because it's red, which is cool. So that's what Pro Series is all about, is they all have good tools, but they're also branded to really separate you. So when you go on location and you use their magnets or their heat gun holder or their application glove, they make you stand out. They make you look professional. And that's what you know having good tools is all about that goes along with good technique. So once we do that now, watch what I start doing. I'm gonna actually angle the blade away from the edge right now. And once I do this, I want a good body position. So I'm gonna go back to this corner over here and I'm gonna do a loop. So for me, I was starting to cut in a weird position. So I changed it. I'm gonna come back over here, cut my corner on this side, cut my corner on this side. And I talked earlier about, you know, there's kind of different schools on how you wrap. Now for me, personally, what I'm doing is I'm actually cutting on the side of the hood. I'm angling my blade away. So from the side, you're not gonna see white, but the idea is by cutting on the side of the hood and angling it away and relaxing the material ahead of time, that means that when I go, I don't have to wrap underneath the hood. And if I don't have to wrap underneath the hood, that saves me a huge amount of time. But I can only get away with that because I relax the material ahead of time and I cleaned it really well and I neutralize all the tension. So I use the making a bed logic, triangle technique to get it onto the hood. And now here, wrapping here. So you can see how I'm kind of angling the blade almost 90 degrees from the side, but that gets me full coverage. You don't see a stitch of white. My free hand creates a nice good tension. And then I always come back and seal the deal. Now that everything's done and cut out, I can take all the excess material in one shot put it immediately in the trash. So you notice that my backing paper is in one spot on the floor, safely away from anyone tripping on it. Then I come back and seal the deal, pull away the masking tape. And so for the most part now, the hood is done, which is super cool. But a good wrapper, and this is part of the thing, and I haven't hit the clock yet, is the idea a good wrapper finishes strong. So just because you cut everything out and you squeegeed everything on, doesn't mean you're done. Just like prep, which was all involved in cleaning, post right now is, in, is all about QC, making sure there's no bubbles, making sure it's wiped down. So I'm gonna take the heat gun right now and I'm gonna go around the edges right here, double check, and I'm gonna go around for bubbles. Ah, saw a little bubble right there. Because what the heat does is if there's any air underneath the film, it makes it expand. So it shows any bubbles. If there's any edges that are loose, the heat will make it pop up. But there, I feel like it's good. Quality control is nice and tight. And then the final stage right now, making it client ready, making the client happy, is I'm gonna give it a quick spray and just wipe it down. You wanna get off all your handprints, get that little bubble right there, cool. So post install, in this case, pretty easy. Just a wipe down, double check for bubbles, make sure the edges are nice and sealed. But for me, okay, that's really important to finish strong. It doesn't take very long. And again, that's what separates great installers from decent ones. Awesome, and that's what you're gonna learn on the Rap Institute, and that's also part of the Never Stop Learning Contest. Awesome. 
Final step is I'm going to take off the core two. Take out the core two right here. Drop it like it's hot. Now, got to finish hood. That means I can stop the clock and whoever guessed 12 minutes and 34 seconds wins the free toolkit from PID Pro Series. Super cool. So this is a Never Stop Learning Contest. You just got a free mini workshop from the Rap Institute. Maybe you just won some pretty cool tools from the Pro Series and I hope you had a lot of fun in this one. I definitely did. And look out for next week, round two, Reiner are gonna be wrapping a mirror with a super cool tool that'll help lower install times by almost 50%. Awesome stuff. So this is Justin Bate from the Rap Institute. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.